one suggestion you have is improving estrogen metabolism. How does that work? Uh, improving estrogen metabolism, again, is just going to be to decrease the amount of Oedipus tissue that you have. So okay. the more Oedipus tissue that you have in your body, technically speaking, you have more of what's called aromatase that's hanging around in your system. So this all leads to increased amounts of estrogen and it leads to increased amounts of inflammatory markers. So you have tumor, tumor necrosis factor alpha that is kind of lingering there. And for you to be able to decrease that, you have to really work at your diet and the stuff that you're eating. So and we, we have some suggestions that I yeah. want to show our viewers, okay. uh, a graphic of some of these things that maybe you should be having to help minimize and lower it, which right. would be... Right, your cruciferous uh, vegetables, exactly, your fish oil. What are uh, those, by the way? The Oh, that's your broccoli and your kale. Okay. Um, it's your cauliflower, um, spinach, all your greens. All the all greens. The stuff that we always tell our kids to eat, and right. that's really what we have to eat. It's eat actually more of them very, now. very protective. Yes. yes. So um, the fish oils are important, omega-3. Uh, exercise, like I said, you have to get out there at least, you know, one hour uh, you know, per day, at least five times, a, uh, you know, a week is important. Uh, soy, as well as very, very good flaxseed, uh, also. Flaxseeds are good because a absolutely, they help with your estrogen metabolism. So they bring that down, less Oedipus tissue, and it le leads to to great results. You brought up the word inflammation a lot in the last like 15 minutes. So what do you mean by that inflammation to reduce it? You create, the more Oedipus tissue that you have, mm -hmm. particularly in your visceral area, which is just kind of that belly fat that you carry around. Which we um, get more of in menopause. <laughs> right, of Goodness course, it's harder to kind of burn it, you know, but, I, you know, we always do what's called a waist to hip uh, ratio. And for women in specific, you know, you just kind of divide that number, what you get for your waist, and then what you get for your hip, and you divide that number up, and you want to be below 0.8. Because that right there tells you that you may be having some insulin resistance that's occurring. And if you have insulin resistance occurring, you're going to have more estrogen that's kind of floating around, and you're just going to create more inflammation. In general, it's not just estrogen, it's just inflammation in general. Exactly. Because you have more of those cytokines that are being brought out into the system through the fat tissue. So you wanna be able to bring down you know, the, the, the amount of visceral fat that you have.